Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. New week, new video, another brand new video. In today's brand new video, guys, as you can see, we're heading to Glen Scotia. We're heading to the icons of Campbelltown. It's that time of year again. It's the second release of the icons of Campbelltown. The, if you remember back, last year's was the Mermaid, the Palo Cotado finish. This one is 14 years in, and it's finished for six months in red wine Barolo casks. So really looking forward to seeing what the difference is, what the red Barolo wine casks bring to the Glen Scotia spirit. Uh, lovely looking forward to it. It looks absolutely fantastic. It's medium peated Barolo red wine cask finish. It's a limited edition and it's 56.8% ABV. Big shout out to the artist involved with the packaging, which is Joel Holtzman. I will pop a link to Joel down in the description. Some fast, fantastic labelling going on. Some fantastic packaging going on. But that's great. What is the whiskey all about? What is the icons of Campbelltown all about? This is Glen Scotia's way of paying homage to the good people of Campbelltown way back in the day, particularly around the Campbelltown Cross. You had all these mythical creatures kicking around back in the day. Last year's one was the Mermaid. This year's one is the Dragon. Hey, I'm looking forward to seeing what next year's is like and what, what other mythical creatures going to come upon us next year, but let's get into this one first and let's not get ahead of ourselves. So, the Dragon, say 13 and a half years in its bourbon barrel, six and a half, six months in red wine Barolo casks, and it is 56.8%, it's non-chill filtered, and it's natural colour. It has a wonderful 14 year old age statement on there. If you want to get into more about the icons of Campbelltown, there is a QR code on the back. So if you type in the QR code, it can take you to more about the Campbelltowns. So I'm not going to dive in too much. All I want to do, guys, is get in and nose this, taste it, share it, score it, conclude, get gone. So let's get the coin off it, guys. It's been covered up for the last hour or so. Trusty Whiskey Friend coins on there. And it's sitting lovely for the last hour in this beautiful little Whiskey Friend Capita glass. And colour-wise, it's just a nice rich gold, rich copper, rich amber. Real nice thing going on there, guys. It does look like a big dram kit, as you know now it's not. It's just one of those tiny little Whiskey Friend Capita classics. So let's dive in and let's nose it, guys. Let's get this into the nose. Okay, so up front, up front it's it's sweet. It's it's nutty. It's sweet and nutty. But there's more to it than that. This noise is about the sweetness. It's it's sweet and it's nutty, but it has those beautiful Glen Scotia characters kicking around. The maritime, the coastal, the sea salt, the maybe even a wee bit of seaweed kicking around in this. Maritime definitely, salty definitely. And the smoke, the smoke is, is in the background. It's just hovering around, it's coming through in whiffs. Distant smoke. Definitely down to the medium peak on this one. The Once you get past all that kind of initial sweetness, the nuttiness, the maritime, the coastal, and you really start to pick it apart, it's... There's some nice fruit notes coming through, there's some nice red apple. Some nice red fruits, to be fair. Don't know if I'm being influenced by the red wine Barolo, and I take it the red wine Barolo is bringing these red fruits. Berry fruit, red apple. The apple's pretty prominent, I think it's, it's, it's some sort of... It's cooked, baked, stewed, it's definitely some sort of sticky apple. And then there's some berry fruit, so raspberry, strawberry. And there's a little bit of tropical vibe. So there's a nice fruity thing going through the middle of this. As, as you, you continue to nose it, the salt and the smoke become a wee bit more prominent as you, as you kind of dive into it and, and kick around on the nose. 
salty salinity smoky coastal uh, so it's in kind of three layers it's smoky coastal nutty sweet up front and then it goes through the fruit stage and then it's heading head back into the kind of salty smoky vibe real real interested in those guys so now we've nosed it I'm dying to share this one with you because I've been sitting I've been sitting here for the last hour preparing so now I'm going to dive in and I'm going to send this down the hatch nice and responsibly folks so wish me luck The Dragon 2024 Icons of Campbelltown Cheers Okay, where do we start? Super dry. Really, really dry. Dry. Sooty. Tucks all the saliva out of your palate. But it's only... It doesn't do that for very long. So initially it comes in dry, sooty. Then it's it's got a wonderful intensity. It's fiery. Again, I think it's the dragon influence. It's got a wonderful intensity. It's punchy. It's spicy. It's, it could be a little bit hot. It's the first sip of the day, guys, so maybe that's where that is. But it's, a, it's, it's got a nice fiery intensity. Now in, in it's mouth coating. Now, now it's becoming very, very mouth watering. Juicy. Tropical. Tropical fruit coming through. Those those red apples are still there again on the on the the palate now. But it's it's more berry fruit. There's berry, there's raspberry, strawberries, cherry, definitely cherry now. But let me take another sip. Research. Not as nutty on the palate as it was on the nose. As this develops through now, the, 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 the fruits, the berry fruit, the red fruit, the apple, it's now becoming jammy, sticky. But at the same time, it's becoming jammy, sticky, salty. It's getting, the more you taste it, it's getting saltier and saltier and saltier. It's a real sticky, salty vibe going on. Maybe a wee bit of salted caramel kicking around in the back there somewhere as well. But it has a lovely sweetness to it. It's not as sweet as it was on the nose. It's definitely a wee bit more savoury coming through the palate. But there's this nice sweetness kicking through, which is real, real nice. Heading to the finish. Again, like the nose, the smoke is coming back. The saltiness is just enveloping the whole thing. Super salty, super maritime, coastal, lovely, lovely Glen Scotia vibe coming through here. Finish, let's do the finish, guys. Let's do one more sip and I'll do the finish and I'll get gone. It's a medium, medium to long finish. Well, there's a little hint of fruit just easing off. The smoke and the, the, the salt is tend to come through. Smoke, salty, peppery. That fiery vibe is heading right again through to finish. And I think the, the medium peat, I think the, the peat smoke, I think it's, it's, it's extending the finish a little bit longer. So yeah, it's like a medium long finish for me. But it's, it's all about the smoke, the salt and the maritime. So yeah, guys, what are we thinking? Glen Scotia, I'm just thinking now I've come to score it. Just before I score it, I'm going to conclude, guys, my give my thoughts on it. I'm loving the fact that Glen Scotia are bringing these whiskies out. So the, the, this whiskey, concluding on this whiskey, it knows he's wonderful. It's not the most, I wouldn't say it's the most complex whiskey in the world, but there's enough going on to keep you interested. 
There's enough of the Glen Scotia spirit coming through, so if you want to get to know Glen Scotia, then you can definitely get it, pick it up in these bottles as well. The, the finishing is not kind of dominating, it's, the, the spirit is still coming through. Those, those ex bourbon notes are still coming through and the, the red wine is just giving it another dimension. So for me, it's it's been pretty cool. Score-wise, I've, I've just realised now, I've not looked what I scored the the first release of The Mermaid. Doesn't matter because I'm scoring this one. So I'm going to score this one a 90 out of 100, guys. Uh, the, the only thing I'd like to reserve on is I think this whiskey is going to get better. So I think if I leave this maybe six months and dip in, in and out here and there, I think this will definitely get better. So I might reserve the right to bring it back and maybe battle it against the mermaid, see what the difference is. If you've liked the video, you know what to do by now. Big red button down below. Doesn't cost you anything, still free, still helping the channel. Uh, if you want to jump in, I'll pop all the links in. You guys, if you want to support the channel, drop all the links in below. And but other than that, I'm Alan, I'm the Whiskey Friend, and as always, don't forget to send some great whiskey straight in the hatch. And always remember the pleasures and the sharing. See you in the next one, folks. Cheers then.